Today I would like to share something with you. Um, this is my grade 4 news journal. So when I was in grade 4, my teacher had us every day listen to CBC Radio, the news on CBC, and we would have to write down things that we thought were important in the news. So here is the news of a decade ago according to a 9-year-old. October 16th, 2000, and I have two entries on this day. Um, the first one, Israelis are fighting with Palestinians, and the second, British drivers are causing major traffic jams. October 17th, 2000. Israelis and Palestinians find peace. I like this, because it's one day after Israelis and Palestinians are fighting. We did it! Conflict solved! One day long! Awesome! The world, I don't know what everyone's been talking about since then. They solved the, the problem in 2000. Great. Good for them. No. Alas, tis not so simple. <laughs> December 7th, 2000, and there's just one entry here, there's just, it's the one thing, and all it says is, protect George W. Bush. I guess I felt like maybe he was in danger. It's all right, he survived. Good. March 11th, 2001, and this is another two entries. Entry number one, Israelis and Palestinians still fight. So that's a bummer, I mean, I thought they had it all sorted out. Oh, oh well. And entry number two for that day, a Vancouver man had too many years of high school. Big news! Crazy that Vancouver man. Making headlines. December 8th, 2000. Global warming ended. Global warming ended back in 2000? Someone should probably, like, tell the scientists or something. Wow! And this is the last one, and it's my favorite. Uh, April 10th, 2001. Someone in Canada has tons of money, but is miserable. The news of 2000 and 2001, according to a nine-year-old, nine-year-old Leah. The world was a simpler time. So that's all. Thanks for watching. And also, <laughs> I just reached 50 subscribers. I mean, I know it's not like a huge number, but it's still pretty exciting. It's, you know, 50. It's like a milestone. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And if you have anything you want me to talk about or any questions for me or anything, let me know. Leave a comment and I will be happy to address your questions or concerns. All right, see you next time.